It is Saturday. It is yard sale day. There's a ton of yard sales day. We're gonna go see if we can find a flipper line for a profit. Oh, nice. How does 75 sound? And I would I will take your number um because there's well there um more glasses like this yeah. and I think more well, I'm happy to call you in your book actually the cheesecake um, diaries don't need that either. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thirty five cents. That's cute. That's one. Five bucks. Um, I've got some boxes um if you want me to kind of it's just three fifty a piece. No? Um, it, people would have to have I know that I had a set of four, but it looks like I'm not about to have a set of six. That's so cute. Um, what's your first name? My name's K A Y L E. First yard sale here, and the guy in the background is actually giving his phone number out, so I decided I probably shouldn't put his phone number all over the internet. And uh, so Kayla's picking up a whole bunch of cool little uh, butterflies. Most of these will probably be on our whatnot show. If you want one or you see something you like, obviously we do have the website, also the bearded thrift machine. She picks up, I think, all of these, and they're like fifty cents to a dollar. Have a dollar twenty-five. Would you do seven dollars? Sure, that sounds great. Is that true, what you were saying about the... Oh, yeah. I don't see a price. Okay, what one you interested in? The Clevelands. There's like a group of Clevelands. Yeah, that Clevelands is 80. All right, yeah, that's going to be a little bit high for me. All right, so she has uh, all the prices on her phone you know that they want to get for everything the thing is is once you kind of hear that like the clevelands are 80 bucks i actually do ask for one more set here which is that one right there and that one's going to be ten dollars so five dollars a club that's a pretty good deal but the rest of them were too high but some good clubs to flip online fire soul fire soul ten dollars ten dollars for both mm -hmm. yep i think it's just going to be these two so that'd be ten bucks that's a nice Wildfire. It's a lot of hats. Uh, <laughs> tradition. All right, what I'm looking for when I go to a hats, mostly some vintage hats with good subject matter, old sports hats, again, that are vintage. And then uh, they have to be in really good condition. I'm really picky about my hats because I found out that washing them sometimes just doesn't get the stains out and stained hats don't sell that well. Actually, I find some really cool hats in this uh, bin. Most of these are actually older. On the line, Norfolk Southern. That's pretty cool. That's home. Oh, that's good. Maybe I didn't have them in a... <laughs> Towards the future. <laughs> Actually, oh, Mickey had steamboat. He's cool. Cat hat. Norfolk Southern. Disney Golf, that's pretty cool. <laughs> huh, the ripping experience. That's funny. Do you see all these uh, purses over here, babe? I do. Okay. What do you got in here? I think that room. Is that car hurt? It's car hurt. Can't see nothing. That's pretty nice. Right here. I know it's beat, but it's still see how much they want for it. Hey, hey Melissa. Come and buy my stuff. Ooh, they're good. Are they? Yep. I wonder how much. Oh, don't have a price. Are they more Carhartt stuff? No. Uh uh. All right, let's go see. Are they Beretta pants right there? Or no? What are they? 
No, these. Nautica. Nautica. Now this is the same yard sale, this is just further up, and there's also a radio up here, as you heard, I think, a little bit on my uh, GoPro, and so this right here has a whole bunch of copyright music over it, so we'll do a voiceover real quick. Kayla finds herself up here at the jewelry. Uh, the, I'm telling you right now, years ago, we never start looking for jewelry, and then we got into selling it on whatnot. Kayla really enjoys it, and now she's a little jewelry hunter. I mean, every time we go in there, we we find some good quality stuff that people are selling. You know, sometimes we run into gold and silver, but also we used to never look at like older costume jewelry, and that stuff sells really, really well for us. So now she's always on the lookout for all types. How much is your? 50 cents. Jewelry, 50 cents. Mm -hmm. So if I got, so I got a dollar fifty mm -hmm. there. So. Yeah, and there's another one that color. Oh. All right, so I'm at two dollars off them. I'm gonna put all, these are all, I think, earrings. I'm gonna put those in a bag together so we wouldn't lose them. Yeah, that was I smart. I had, I had earrings to match a set of those. Looks like those are boy ones. I found the earrings. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> Maybe I didn't have them in a... <laughs> Those necklaces right there are like magnetic and we sell them all the time. People love those on whatnot and they usually actually sell between 10 to 15 bucks. I think she picks up for 50 cents here. All right, got some stuff here. <laughs> all right. It was, uh, she said 10 bucks for the golf clubs. Each, she said, or all no, together. All together. Okay, so yes, 10. I mean, I didn't see a price on the Carhartt jacket. Um, that'll be a oh, dollar. It's got paint on it. Sure, that'll work. <laughs> And, a, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So seven, then, 17 with this. Then that was three. three so three, we're at 20. 20. And then a pair of Nikes. Uh, did Caleb say what he wanted for these shoes? I don't know. What you give me for them? 10 bucks? Sure. Perfect. We're at 30? <laughs> yes. All righty. That was the easiest negotiation ever. Oh, I'm just glad you're taking it. <laughs> what are these? Ah, 20 bucks. Them things are cool. The, the dogs are barking. What do you think this is? Is that a wheel? Uh, cautious. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a nice Dyson for five bucks. There you go. Motor. Does it have a charger? Is that the charger? It needs, it sucks up, but it doesn't like totally work. It right. Work. <laughs> huh. How does it charge? Oh, it does it have, it, it's missing That's the battery? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. You got five bucks on it though? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it for five dollars. I figured if somebody had one and they wanted parts, it would Sure. <laughs> That'll work. What is that? Where? What am I looking at here? What is this? It was so it was from Gander Mountain and they displayed the Maui Gym sunglasses. Oh, uh, <laughs> gotcha. Did you do 10 bucks on it? Yeah. Okay. So sadly, when I got home, I started to clean the Maui gym and actually the Maui gym part broke in half. It didn't like just fall off. It actually broke in half. So uh, I'm not going to be able to sell that, but the displays do sell. The smaller ones sell between 40 and 60 bucks plus shipping. You didn't want the, um, the, uh, the horses? yeah, she wants to take five for them. She's cutting deals. Little food grinder, KitchenAid. I wonder if it's new. That's a strike pen. Mm, no. Negative. Chips on them. Yeah. Because it's cold. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Night five. I had my coat on this morning. <laughs> from New York. I had my coat that I had from New York. I was that cold this morning. There you go. Great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we got dogs loose. We got dogs loose. They don't look that vicious. I don't not walk in this cat's yard. <laughs> There's an electric fence. I don't know how good it is. We one time I just got bit by a pit bull. Yeah. Is it five bucks for all of it? Is it a junior set? 
Oh, a diving bag? What is that? It's a little junior set. Any of the kids at uh, church trying to, trying to learn how to golf? No. Really? Man, what is inside this thing? Diving gear, yep. weighted belts, stuff like that. The bag itself is pretty cool. What is that pants? Is that a dollar? Oh, it's too heavy. It's gonna be a lodge. Grids bolts aren't that heavy. Walk around with the Mopar. Mopar, no car. What is it? No car, Mopar? I now have to carry this around. Hey, look, that's worth, that's worth 50 cent all day yeah. long. All day, every day. It's over here. Is that a squishmallow? Hey, look. A dollar. Hey, look, another one. Squishmallow. A dollar. What's that, a dollar a clock? Huh. That's a nice set of binoculars. What are they called? Oh, these are meads. What are we working with? Oh, they're missing the little... That one's missing the... The eye... Eye piece. Yeah, they, they work like binoculars. Yeah, I saw that. Found you another one. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Oh, we have so many in the house. Those are the only ones I can get out. <laughs> Ooh, what you found? A whole bunch of bags? Mm -hmm. Anything good? Mm -hmm. A lot of shoes. Shoes are five bucks. A lot of clothes. That's a lot of clothing. Lands in. Not from Walmart. High price. It's a riding jacket. I wonder how much. Did you see that nice shelf behind you? Shelves are so expensive nowadays. A thing for... Jackets are three bucks. There's no way this is only three dollars. Mm-hmm. Those things are nice. Is that five for? All oh, right. Now how much? I said jackets for three, but is this three bucks or? Yeah, you know, is a liner in there? It is. Yep, good. Yeah, three bucks, right. eight, eight, nine, know. ten. Okay. Those are two of these. Um, well, 30, 40, 15, 16. And then I got the cup. 50 cents. 16. How about? Yeah. Oh. 16 total. 16 total? All right, that'll work. Did you get some dresses for yourself? I did. Two, you, dollars. two dollar dresses. I did. You can't pass up two dollar dresses at all. Um, pretty good. Squishmallows we've noticed sell like super good on our whatnot. So we're always now looking for them because people love them. I like the little ones because they're easier to ship. All right, so at this yard sale right here, a lot going on. There's like 42,000 people and they were all talking loud. So I'll have to do a voice over here. Uh, these are stack on, not snap on, but stack on boxes. They're little metal boxes. Everything was priced pretty high here other than those two. I just wanted to show these. I do pick them up for $5. I do go ahead and call Kayla also because she thought this was just on the outside because it just said a whole bunch of tools. But on the inside, there was a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, but we didn't buy anything other than the two little uh, stack on metal boxes. I'm gonna guess that's a fake Burberry. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it out there that that's not real. Someone putting those on. Yeah, I'll say that's also. Yeah, is there anything? Nothing down here? Mickey one? No? I didn't like it too much, but 
you know, my daughter got it, and so oh, said, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a little bit. Worst thing about these, you're going to have to charge her for that battery. You know. Uh, I'm going to walk around the back. Is that all I have to get it? Yeah, go ahead. What's the worst thing about that? Table review. Here's a $2 table. It's probably worth two bucks. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. That's a dollar table. There's an Oakley shirt. Frog talks. I think everything's a dollar. Is they worth a dollar? I don't know anything about frog togs. Might be worth a book. And then I was thinking, eh, probably not that. Take it. Take it, honey. Take it. For free? For oh free. Goodness. Well, we appreciate okay. it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> What do we got going on down here? What we're gonna do is turn around, right? Yeah. We got the popo here, so we're gonna say it ain't, that ain't happening. So we actually found out what was going on with the Pueblo Lisa and the two other cars. It was just a little collision. To be careful when you're out there yard sailing, because you know yard sale driving is crazy. You're doing U-turns, you're backing up, you're in small spaces. Just make sure you always look like 16,000 times back so you don't run into anybody else's car. But nobody was hurt or anything, just a little fender bender. That's a binder. That's pretty cool. I've sold those before. Back from the yard sales. What a crazy day. Tons of stuff out there. Dollar car hard. I know I had paint on it. I'm telling you right now, that thing's still going to sell for $30 or $40, and you can't beat it for a dollar. And then you're probably wondering why I bought the Dyson that didn't work for five bucks. It's easy because all this stuff is genuine Dyson parts and all of it will sell. Like this piece right here is easy $10. I'm guessing the motor's bad on this, um, but that doesn't really matter because all you're gonna do is you're gonna piece it out. Like, so you'll piece that part out right there, which is the canister, which goes for I think like 20 or 30 bucks. The stick right here goes for another 10 bucks, and then the head on this one goes for I think 30. And what I was looking at to see if there's a lot of dog hair in here, and there's not, there's just dust. So that's really good because dog hair, dogs will destroy some vacuums. And if I see a ton of dog hair or cat hair, I usually don't pick it up because you almost can't get those everything clean. You, it's almost impossible. So, and I don't spend a whole lot of time cleaning them. I just wipe them down. This one right here, I'll just have to wipe down. The filter actually looks pretty good. And I'll probably, for five bucks, I'll probably make 50 to 60 bucks just parting that out. So an awesome day out there, Yard Town. I do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, you know I'll always get you on the next one.